Screencasting has come a long ways in the last 30 years. <laughs> screencasting is what I'm doing right here. That This video is a screencast. We use our computer to record our computer screens and our video and audio and we edit it all together. And screencasts are terrific for tutorial content and training content, which is really going to be the focus of today's video. But when I say it's come a long way in 30 years, that's because I've actually been creating this type of video for 30 years. In 1992, I had my first television series here in Canada, which taught teachers how to use computers in the classroom. And we were doing a form of screencasting. Nowhere near as elegant as what we are doing here right now. In fact, we had to use a big studio camera to record the computer screen in order to show what was happening on the screen. How we do it today is so much better. And that's what I really kind of want to celebrate today. I want to celebrate how far screencasting has come and some of the most incredible efficiencies that are built into screencasting that makes screencasting a dream for content and course creators, especially for course creators, creating learning and tutorial content of the sort that you are watching right now. So today we're going to be looking at the keys to creating great tutorial content on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? And as I mentioned off the top of today's episode, I've been creating screencasting and tutorial videos for over 30 years. I know it's hard to believe looking at my youthful face that I could actually have been creating tutorial videos 30 years ago, but I was. And back in the day, we used to use, we used to create our videos in a television studio with a full crew and full camera gear. And oh my gosh, we spent so much effort and so much energy to create tutorial videos to teach people how to, in that time, at in those days, how to use a computer. But we recognized even then the value of screencasting tutorials, the value that the computer screen can bring to the table as far as imparting educational content. And nothing has changed today. For course and content creators, anybody that's creating learning or training content, screencasting is the best way to create that content. So today I want to share with you how you can create fantastic quality tutorial content in less time than you imagine. And the reason we can do it is the toolkit that we have accessible to us today. In this particular case, we're going to look at Camtasia and many of the features in Camtasia that make it possible for a person by themselves to create wonderful tutorials in, as I say, far less time than you imagine. And again, the proof is in the pudding. Each week here at Dottotech, we produce a minimum of two 20 minute tutorials, one for our webinar Wednesday feature and another for our foundational Friday feature. These are around 20 minutes each. They are tutorial videos that I record as screencasts and using the features in Camtasia, I'm able to produce good quality tutorial videos incredibly efficiently. So shall we dive in and take a look at the features that make this all possible? Oh yes, 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 I believe we should. Before we get going, in the spirit of full disclosure, I have to tell you that I want to thank the folks at TechSmith who sponsored today's video. We need three things from our video creation software in order to more effectively create excellent tutorial videos. We need a tool that helps us with clarity. By clarity, I mean it helps us to communicate what's happening on the screen. It helps us to create visuals that convey a thought, that convey, convey an idea, that convey a concept. So that's the first thing we need is we need the tools to help with clarity. We also need tools that help with efficiencies to help us quickly create elements for our tutorial videos that don't take us a lot of time to create. So we need some sort of a, a format and template consistency so that we can create content at a high volume as well as at a high quality. And that's the third thing that it, we need is the quality. We need a tool that will deliver high quality for us. And fortunately, Camtasia fills all of these bills. So let's take a look in Camtasia and see how it serves these three purposes, clarity, quality, and efficiency. And we're gonna start with clarity. For today's video, we're gonna use this file, which I created a couple of weeks ago for our webinar Wednesday broadcast. Now, this is a great example of creating tutorial content because each week here at Dottotech, I produce Webinar Wednesday, which is a free tutorial and in a free webinar 
And during the webinar, the training portion of the webinar, I pre-record using screencasting, and then we stream it live during the during the broadcast, during the during the webinar. So I have to create a new tutorial video. They're between 18 and 30 minutes usually, but I have to do one each and every week. So here is a real world example. This is a video that I used. Uh, that we recently used, and I'm going to show you the features that make it possible for me to create good quality videos at a rapid rate for training and tutorial purposes. And we're going to start by talking about clarity. One of the best features of screencasting is our ability to add clarity to anything that we're showing on the screen by using camera moves and other features that are built into screencasting tools. It's one of the things that makes screencasting software like Camtasia unique and different from classic video editing packages like Final Cut Pro. We can, if you take a look here within this video here, in this tutorial, I was teaching some stuff about Google Calendar. And I wanted to zoom in on a menu to show what was happening in the menu. And if you take a look here on the screen, here's the full calendar. Here's my head up at the top as I'm speaking. And if you take a look down at the bottom of the screen, you see the timeline. These are the different video tracks that we have in Camtasia. And you see that little arrow right there? That little arrow is, signifies a camera move. It, it, it signifies where we zoomed in on the screen to add clarity to what it is I was talking about. So let me just play this back for you really quickly. I'll just zoom in a little bit more on the, on the area. So let's just play it back. And you'll notice that when this, this playhead here goes past the little arrow here, th that the main body of the screen here will change, will zoom in on a location. So watch this happen. I'm gonna hit play. What you wanna do is you wanna master the other views. That is, if you look in the top of the calendar, you can view, uh, yeah. So you see what happened there is I timed the move uh, on the screen with what I was doing with my cursor at that particular moment and that draws the viewer's eye to that location which adds clarity. It reinforces the narrative that I'm speaking at that particular moment. This is a really powerful mechanism for teaching because you can control what the person sees as well as what they hear and we can use tools that are built into Camtasia in order to in order to invoke that in in order to invoke that action and it goes beyond that so that was what we call a simple just a simple push here where we zoomed in on the screen but we can use other tools that are built into Camtasia to even add to that value so here it's going to stay on this uh, screen here for a few moments let's uh, let's take a look let's just go to the next part here and let's say that in this next section here I want to highlight something that's happening maybe uh, maybe I want to highlight something that's happening down here in the in the different calendars I can take and I can add things called annotations, which again, give us the ability to draw our viewer's eye to a location. And within the annotations, I have this type, I really like this little annotation here, which will bring in a little square. Now you can't see the square because it's kind of a yellow color right now, but I can over here in the properties, I can change every aspect of that annotation that I brought in. Watch what happens. I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to choose, in this case, I'm going to choose my stock color, my nice orange color. I'm going to change the thickness of that particular uh, graphic. I'm going to use the the side the little handles to change the size of the of the of this of the uh, of the square that I'm looking at and then watch what happens you see it's dropped here in the very top so this is a simple little animation which will now the schedule calendar it doesn't you see how it draws it through and if I wanted to actually highlight something over here maybe I wanted to highlight what was here instead I could do the exact same thing put it there calendar. it doesn't show me so you see here we're using tools that are built into Camtasia to add clarity and we've just scratched the surface of the tools that are available to us for creating clarity but I think you can see that Camtasia brings a screencasting tool like Camtasia brings the capacity for us to be able to control the viewers eyes in order to enhance the learning experience step one for creating great compelling tutorial videos is creating clarity in the content that we are delivering step two is efficiency I love this part of Camtasia Here's the challenge that you have when you're creating tutorial content. Of course, creators face this all of the time, is creating video can be a fairly laborious process. It takes a lot of different steps and, it, uh, and you have to perfect every step along the way. 
If you can work to a format or a formula, you're much farther ahead in creating tutorial content because you've got basically a template that you're filling in content rather than creating a structure from scratch each time, which is kind of like creating art as opposed to manufacturing something through a process. So we look for tools that will give us templates and formats so that we can recreate different visual effects very quickly and very effectively. And Camtasia gives us those in a wide variety of different ways. The first way they do it is through libraries where we have and import different elements into Camtasia that we can use over and over again. And we can maybe modify just the text in them or just the size of them in order to repurpose them in multiple different videos. Now these libraries allow us to save collections of elements that we can use for different purposes in our videos. You can see I've got one here for my YouTube assets, I've got one here for my webinar assets. If I open the webinar asset library that I have, these are all of the different little uh, feature, different little graphics and elements that I use when I'm creating Webinar Wednesday. One of which say is this very top top uh, this top graphic. I don't have to go and import that each and every time I'm creating a new video. Instead, I just grab the Webinar Wednesday banner from here, right there, the Webinar Wednesday banner, and I drag it out and then I position it where I need it. So I'm gonna be covering up the other one, but you can see how I position it there and I'm able to use it. So I don't have to import that each time. That works for static graphics, but it also works for motion graphics. This is the transition. It won't look very good because it's going to be over top, but this is a transition that I often use. More a calendar view, but it just shows that right me there my to go from element to element. And actually, I think you can see it in action. I've got it in here somewhere. Yeah. So here it is at, right at the beginning of the webinar. I use that exact element to transition from this scene here them properly. Now that's pretty cool, but the, what really makes this valuable, a, an asset like this, is this is a piece of editable content. So the visual form that we see, the animation and the sound effect, that's all baked in, but the text here can be changed. So if I wanna change it from the word account confusion to really cool, cool stuff, I type it in here in the properties panel, and then when we watch it play the next time, it's been changed to really cool stuff or real cool stuff because I forgot the why. But you see how we can quickly create an element that we can use over and over again in our videos using, using the libraries and the templates that Camtasia brings to the table. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. You're saying, oh, that's great, Steve, except you know you've been doing video your whole life. You know how to create these elements. Actually, I don't. I have an idea of how to create these elements, but I don't actually have to do the creation of the elements. Why, you ask? I will show you why. Because if I look down here, Camtasia has a, a link that will allow me to download more assets. This is absolute genius. This is a collection of free and premium assets that we can download from Camtasia uh, from TechSmith that we can use in our videos or in our presentations. You select a, a what you're looking for, in this case, a motion graphic. And we, if, we, if we scroll down, we'll probably see the one that I just used here. It's down here somewhere. I, I won't scroll to waste too much of your time to find it. But holy cow, look at all of the different elements there are. And if we hold our cursor over top of any one of them, oh, it is. Oh, no, that's a different one. It's, it's similar, but see, it's a nice little animated title that drops in just like that. And you can see that it's premium content. That's something that you would pay for. Let's find something that's free. There we go, starter content. Uh, I saw some starter content right here. And this is a simple little lower third that you can bring in. You see, let's click on it. Take a look, it's a, it's a couple little balls and it comes out. Okay, this isn't anything too fancy, but if you had to create this from scratch, it would be a challenge, would it not? Yes, it would. But watch what we can do. I can take this and I can send it to Camtasia. When I send it to Camtasia, it then imports it into my copy of Camtasia and I'm able to access it right away. Where is it? Where do I look for it? In one of the libraries that I was just talking about. It's in the downloads library and look right here, here is the blue pop lower third that I just created. Now let me show you how you go about changing that and editing it for yourself. So I'm gonna scroll right here. I'm just gonna to go to the very end of my video so that I can put it over a black background. Come on, Steve, there it is. There's the very end. So let me bring this in and watch what it, I'm gonna drop it here onto the timeline. And here we can see that it's gonna look like it did in the, in the uh, 
in the sample. It's not really useful to me with this color and with the Camtasia logo because I don't use the Camtasia logo in my Dotto Tech stuff and I don't use the color blue. But watch what happens is if I go into the properties, I can go and I can change this base color to any color I want, just choosing here. Now, another one of the kind of libraries that I have imported into Camtasia is my brand kit, all of the colors that are part of the Dotto Tech brand. So I can take this asset and I can change it this quickly into the Dotto Tech colors. And I can then I can play it along. Here we go. And okay, the other thing I need to do is I need to change the logo. I want to change that logo, get rid of that logo. I want to import a, a Dotto Tech logo. So let me just navigate to the Dotto Tech logo. Oh, look, I found my my really old school Dotto Tech logo. But you see what's happened is I've dropped it in there. And this quickly, I've changed that template that I uh, was able to download for free into Camtasia. I've changed it into a lower third, which can work for me. And I can change, let's just finish it off. Let's finish it off. Let's, no job is done until the text has been changed. Let's go in and let's change the text from your title here to Steve Dotto Esquire. I don't know if I'm actually an Esquire. I don't know what that even means being an Esquire, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to click here on the text. I'm going to also change the text color to my nice orange. And as quick as that, I have converted that element from a stock element that's in the Camtasia library into a recurring element that I can use over and over again uh, without having to recreate it from scratch. That is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about efficiency, being able to take all of these pre-done elements and be able to apply them where necessary and where appropriate in our tutorial content. So we've now got increased clarity by being able to draw our viewers' eyes and be able to tell our story better. And we're able to package it far more uh, appealingly. Is that a word? Appealingly. But we're able to do a better job of packaging up our video and working to within a format because we've got the elements that we can repurpose and recycle over and over again. And all of this leads to the third part of the equation, which is quality. If we're telling the story better, if we're packaging our story more efficiently, we're doing a better job of creating quality content. And the final step is the ability to take all of the content that we create, export it as a high quality video that we can use either by inserting it into our course content, uploading it to YouTube, putting it on a web page. We can take this quality content and we can apply it where necessary. Those to me are three keys to creating great compelling content. I will share links in the description to other content that may be useful to you in your quest to learn to create better, more compelling tutorial and learning content. I hope you found today's video to be useful. And if you have, then I have a favor to ask. Please subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, I look forward to seeing them in the comments section. One final thought is I mentioned several times today our weekly tutorial webinar called Webinar Wednesday. It is free for all and now is the time that I would like to invite you to join us if you happen to have a Wednesday free and you want to learn a little bit more about productivity or content creation. The link is right here. I hope to see you there. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.